Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how much this game I've made that has kinda exploded has made. Also, I've made two more games which also kinda exploded because all of this is natural growth, there isn't any advertising. Actually, if you look into the analytics right here, we can see that I've advertised a little bit. Well, we can't see it even anymore, but sponsored it. Really long time ago, I've run a little bit of sponsored ads, as you can see, and that brought this little bump of players. But then randomly, I just got a bunch of home recommendation. I don't know why, but it's great, of course. And so far, it's got 683,000 visits, which is a lot. This is my biggest game ever. 463,000 people played it in total. Actually a little more than that, but around that. It's got 68,500 favorites. That's because I prompt the first time the player plays the game. In like a minute of the playtime it will prompt you if you want to favorite the game. Which is why there's so much favorites. Anyway, before I show you all the statistics, as you can see my group got 2155 members. Currently 839 active. And here's how much Robux it made so far. So we've made 71,000 plus the pending Robux. So if we add that, that's like 117,000 Robux, which is the most I've basically ever had. And so let's take a look at the proper analytics. If you look into the monetization, it has made 32,000 Robux in three days. So that's like over 10,000 Robux a day, which is crazy in my opinion. Daily revenue this is the average, and as you can see here, it still was slow. So if we took it only like when the game exploded, the average would be much higher than this. But it's still very high. Anyway, what has sold the most is reveal deck position, which allows you to reveal the deck position to guide you to where it is. I mean, I didn't explain what my game about what my game is about because I kind of expected that it's obvious from the name, but. In case you didn't get it, you just find the ducks. I will show you a little bit of it later. But this developer product, I was very skeptic whether I want to edit or not, because it's basically what the game is about. But I know some of the ducks were hidden very well, and this costs 15 Robux, I think. And as you can see, it's made 70k Robux in just a month. Besides, we sold more, that is 250 Robux donation. 1000 donation, 50. Very few people bought the coins, which makes sense, because they're just used for pets. They're kinda useless, and this is not really worth it. But it's made 126 Robux, and that's still pretty cool. So, looking into the passes, as you can see, we sold the speed coil the most. It made 10k Robux in a month, and Right under that we saw the gravity coil. This game pass is kinda new. I think it came out like, as you can see, right here, probably. And it's getting some sales too, so that's pretty nice. As you can see, we sold it 50 times and the fusion coil 83 times. And this is what it brought us. So, all the game passes have made 33k Robux. Now, for some reason, the avatar items also made 8 Robux. I don't know why. Some people just buy shirts, probably from like when they look at people's avatar. And that somehow makes me Robux, which I didn't know. It's pretty cool. In a way, if you look into engagement payout, as you can see, it's the premium payout. We make a lot of Robux daily. Of course, it's going like slowly up, but this is kinda a lot, like 2000 Robux a day, that's pretty nice. And that's only six days ago. Yeah, so these are basically the Robux stats, but let's look into some other statistics. I'm not really sure about all of this. Some people told me it's pretty low, but I mean, I don't understand any of this, but my game still got players, so I'm happy. Daily active users, this is like how many people a day join the game, so that's like up to 45,000, and these are returning players. As you can see, in one day even like 5.5k has returned. And now, total playtime, as you can see, this is like around 10k, which is almost enough that if it went like this for 3 months, I'd get the verified checkmark. 
But I'm really not sure whether it's gonna go like that for free manus. I don't think so, but it's possible. Anyway, these are not so important statistics. It's basically telling me that most people are from the United States and yeah, we don't really have to care about it. But this is basically really cool. That just means my game gets recommended a lot. And that's only this game. But if we go and join into the game, then as you can see right here, we have a board. Click to play more that allows you to teleport into the two other games. So let's just... It's going to do find the teddy bears okay, and this is basically the same game but different map and you just find teddy bears instead of ducks and then there's also find the frogs now this game was broken for quite a while meaning you couldn't even finish it which was a big problem but i fixed it now and it's getting more players and stuff anyway some well someone finished this game 70 times which is crazy anyway this is basically the same again different map but frogs only 32 of them again there are only these three two game passes the carpet is only in the find the ducks so far but i think it's not really useful because this map is small so i don't think i'm gonna be adding that anyway i don't probably need to show you the full statistics of these two games but as you can see 109k visits 97k visits and again a lot of favorites because i prompted the favorite thing anyway how did this game get so many players well i'm not really sure if i can answer that because i'm not really smart in the way roblox like roblox recommends games but this game is like in, in my opinion it's really polished it looks nice it's all functioning everything got sounds everything got animations it's all colorful, which means a lot of people are going to like the game because there is another Find the Ducks game, but it's not at all polished. The GUI looks really bad, it's not even like it doesn't even have aspect ratios, and this game has all of that. So I think what it is that a lot of people play it, they like it, a lot of friends join them, they also like it, and then the people that play Find the Games, which there are surprisingly quite a lot then they will get recommended this game they will finish it they see there are leaderboards with these statistics so of course some people are really competitive and they want to be on here so they will try to finish it as many times as needed and as fast as needed to appear up here and same here some people just donate because they like the game and some just want to be really high up there which of course thanks to everyone who donated i really appreciate it and i got so many gr group members because as you can see i say that if you like the game and join the group you will get 5x coins now of course you don't need to like the game i have no way to check if you like the game but that's kind of a lie of course in a way i also say it here in the chat and yeah so i think it's got a lot of players because basically this game is made colorful and, and it's made to attract younger player base that was spent more time on playing this game. Some studio even tried to buy the game, they offered $600 which of course is not worth it at all because it's made like $450 in a month so I declined of course but it made me happy that like there's interest for this game and like these statistics, wow. I just expect to have so many visits or even robux in my account this is like the most i ever had and of course it's all coming out of this group hey if you have any questions then make sure to leave them in the comments i will try to answer everything and that's it for the video thanks for watching and bye